Hey guys, Erin May here back with another video. Today's video is going to be me showing what's it like wearing the gear that was issued to me. So I do have my gas mask in this bag. This bag is pretty cool. It comes with like a pouch that usually has all your stuff inside. Um, doesn't have that bottle. That bottle was from when I got that issue. Uh, <laughs> um, inside of it, it has like a cap that you usually have um, issued to you at Beast. This usually goes on like your um, your actual canteens on top of it. Inside the bag, you know, you got little compartments and stuff. You guys check that out. A lot of people put like their pens and stuff in there. Um, that's usually what you have when you go to Beast and stuff. This inside of this is where you have your wonderful... If I could just take out the dang gas mask. And boom, voila. This is the gas mask. Really similar to what you guys are going to be wearing at Beast. Um, the only difference I think is like the back of it. The back of it, the straps are a little different. But it's pretty simple. First, I'm just going to take off the actual like filters that are on the mask because usually they're off of it when you first get it and when I first seen these masks I was like oh my god what the heck look like some um some uh freaking what is that game called I can't even think of the game I can't even think of the game where they were these <laughs> wait I got this I swear I swear I could do this oh there we go, it's off. <laughs> so yeah, you usually like squeeze the these two clips to take it off. And it has like align it, uh, alignment marks on the um, edge of these um, filters to help figure out where um, they actually start to go on, on the mask. So if you actually are put, I'm just gonna take off one. So if you actually take off or look at the side of the mask here, it has these little tick marks on the sides right here showing where you first start to put on the filter and you basically line them up like that and you twist it on that's how you put on the actual seals on the mask now usually when you first put on a mask is kind of fun because you um basically that's what the inside looks like and you will have to pull the whole thing back like this Pulling it back like this. And you want to make sure that the straps aren't too tight. And when you're putting the mask on, you'll start with like your chin kind of in here. It's going to be really weird trying to put this thing on. I'm going to go in like this and I'll pull it back like, like this. Usually when you put on your mask, you have to make sure that these seals are correct so you don't be choking to death in the gas chamber. Not that you'll be choking, but it would end up filtering through if your um if your filters aren't on there all the way. So you always have to make sure you got a good seal with the filters. So we do that by basically covering the filters and taking a deep breath in like this and breathing out. That's what this looks like. Putting on this mask, I'm not gonna lie, is actually kind of hot to wear and. You can get really sweaty in here. It's not that hard to breathe in these kinds of masks. It's more so like, I don't know, it just it just could get really hot. And long as you just trust in your filters and if you don these on properly, then you should be fine in the gas chamber and you should be fine wearing them overall. Um, they're not that heavy. I wanna say this is probably less than 10 pounds, not even that heavy. So guys don't have to worry about that. Going on to the helmet here, this helmet, feels like a rock. I don't know what this is made out of, but this is something you guys are most likely gonna be wearing too. That's the inside. And it has these uh, straps here as well. You could just buckle in right on the, here. Put it in like this. And we just buckle this in. Boom, and you got a little chin strap right there next to all my uh, pimples and acne. <laughs> So yeah, you just put that on and you are ready to go. This is probably less than five pounds as well. I kind of like putting this thing on. It's really, really cool. This heavy. <laughs> Fix that back up there. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was pretty heavy. <laughs> Almost knocked down my lamp. Now, the ones that you guys are gonna actually wear at Beast is, isn't going to be, probably look exactly like this here but pretty close. I'm just gonna 
try my best to just wear the whole thing. I'm gonna pull this over my head. Ugh. Oh God. All right. <laughs> I might need assistance. <laughs> so yeah, and it has, we pull these little straps on the sides here, lift this up. There's different types. I'm gonna do the other side and pull that down. It's pretty much how it looks. I could kind of feel the plate inside. So I do feel pretty protected. Like this is probably 10 pounds, possibly. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what you guys are going to be wearing. There are different issues, so it might not look exactly the same, but yeah, this is the, this is, wait, back part isn't supposed to look like that. I can't reach. <laughs> Gas mask, I'm just gonna wear everything for you guys. And we're gonna put on the helmet. This gets real foggy, real foggy quick if you get hot. Like me, oh my God, I can't even see all these things. But it's all good. <laughs> Wearing this, running around, let me just take off this. <clears throat> oh my God. Where is the straps? That's that. And that's that, okay. Aside from the vest, um, the only time you will probably be wearing um, the vest and um, helmet um, is if you're gonna do like your um, EC for like the tents and stuff. Basically, washing the tent overnight. So I'm gonna have another video about that, um, a little story about that uh, in another video. That is pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys liked this video. This has been a long, long video and a very hot one. If you guys like this video, have any questions about the gear, feel free to comment and give a like down below the video. Um, I do make videos every single week, so feel free to subscribe. Overall, I think this equipment adds a good 15 pounds on you, and it's pretty durable to wear. Um, it just could get really hot. But that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Where is the straps?